What's up guys, it's me here, back with another video, and today we have, uh, kind of a mix between a Melee and a Card Shop recap. So, basically, Melee took a bit longer than I expected with some of the cards to come in, and obviously, I like to do a little bit of a medium size or bigger Melee to keep the video entertaining, and that way I don't have to release, you know, video, like, two Melees a week or something like that. But this one did take a little bit, bit longer than I expected. And on top of that, I did go to my card sh shop um, yesterday. Hopefully this video is posted today, otherwise that won't make sense. But um, yeah, I thought I'd recap that as well. And then I realized there wasn't too many cards from the card shop. Uh, I, have to, I have to make sure I don't get card shop and card show mixed up. So just pulling the cards out of here. Um, and again, it's like, uh, I'm going to try to keep this video entertaining enough, um, so that way it's not over quickly, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I mean, one interesting thing I'll say is, uh, I did open some packs of Goodwin Champions, um, it was the first time ever that I ripped it just because it was cheap, you guys can see here, 2020 Goodwin Champions, I did open it off camera, but, um, I know some people don't really like this stuff just because there's a lot of commons in here. And, uh, it's hard to hit anything good. But I'll, uh, recap what I got at the end. Um, since I, I thought it was actually one of the more fun rips I've had in a long time. Even if I didn't know some of the players or some of the athletes slash, um, famous people in the cards. Um, which you guys can let me know in the comments if you follow that kind of stuff, but... First, I'm going to start with the Mail Day, um, since to me that's the most exciting one, uh, just because there are some real, really good cards in here, and a few shoutouts as well. So first off, uh, it is this Daniel Gafford, which I got a couple weeks ago, Hometown Heroes Auto. This is when he was starting to get really good. Not really good, but good enough where he was getting noticed uh, in the lineup. Now it's a little bit less. I know he's kind of regressed a little bit. But, um, somebody who hasn't regressed is a man, Zach Levine. Uh, this is the Impeccable out of 49. Uh, this is the, the gold version. I'm not sure the difference. I'll have to look at the parallels between this and the gold. Uh, besides the numbering, obviously. A really, really nice looking card. I was a little upset at the Portland game. Uh, if you guys didn't watch that one, Willard hit the game winner. Uh, we were up by five with 11 seconds to go, and we blew it, which sucked. I mean, it is Lillard, he's one of the most clutch players of all time, but still, I don't know, jump ball a call wasn't the best either. Uh, I felt like it wasn't a jump ball, it shouldn't have been a jump ball. We should have called that timeout. I believe we had one, but ah, it is what it is. I don't know, the playoff hopes are, are a little slimmer now, because... I mean, we got Wendell in, yeah, Wendell injured for the next three weeks, um, yeah, but if, if you're watching this video right now. Uh, but, you know, speaking of Bulls, here's another one. Uh, this one's actually a former player. It is a patch. Um, so it's, it's, it's a really cool looking patch, too. It is a Gamer Jimmy Butler. A really nice two-color patch. I believe that's part of his number, I want to say. And it is out of... 12 of 20, so a little bit of an obscure patch number. But, um, yeah, I know, uh, it was a Rykon also had a similar one of Bradley Beal as a single color, but I like these gamers relics. They have some nice patches to them. So, I, I don't get much Jimmy Butler stuff, but today I actually got two Jimmy Butler stuff, which you're gonna see in a bit. But, speaking of, uh, Rykon, Big shout out to him, I did win his giveaway a while back, um, and it is a really nice card that I won too. Uh, so yeah, make sure you go check him out. And the card I won was a John Morant Mosaic Rookie card. This is probably one of the bigger giveaway uh, wins that I've gotten, I got really lucky with that. Um, but yeah, sorry if Rykon, if you're watching, sorry I didn't show it sooner, I know it came quite a few weeks back. Uh, but. Yeah, the, the meal day's been backed up a little bit. Um, so, we also got some Steph Curry stuff, which I'll get to. But first, I want to get to um, Connor Sports cards. 
uh, or Casey Mo on Instagram, he, uh, we made a trade and uh, ended up working out quite well for both of us. I got rid of some prison rookies and I got some bull stuff in return. He also sent some extras, which is really nice of him. So a big shout out to him as well. So I'm going to start off with uh, Denzel Valentine, Donruss rookie. I know Valentine's been playing a little bit better than he has uh, previous years. Uh, this one I was, um, I was, <laughs> I was kind of laughing about. Eric Murphy, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, pulled a few of his rookie cards back when uh, the fast break products, uh, repack products had those 13, 14 packs in them. And then another Eric Murphy. Don't know where he is right now, uh, but yeah, definitely one of the Bulls rookies who really slipped through and probably don't remember him. I mean, I, I completely forgot about him until I saw that card. Uh, next, we got Nato Porter Jr., Hoops rookie. Then a Markkanen status who had a really nice game against the Blazers. Markkanen essential rookies. Hutchinson, hoping he can get back in the lineup. That's Green Prism rookie. Oh, also, speaking of the Bulls stuff, I am getting to the Markkanen uh, rookie kind of showcase video. Um, as I said, for those videos, it does take a little bit longer for me to make just because I have to go through the cards uh, and kind of take them out and and go through them sequentially. So that one might be, I'm going to say middle of the week. I'll release that video, hopefully. But yeah, again, I'm just showing the rookies and the hits and the number in this series. Um, not the base and the parallels and things like that. So that's stuff that gets repetitive. Uh, next, we've got a Hardcore Heroes Horizon parallel of Markham in one of the better looking parallels in Prestige. Then a Trey Young status, that was probably the biggest uh, one out of the, the trade. Ben Simmons, a rookie, is my first uh, type of that card. And then a Markkinen Prism rookie, which I haven't gotten in a while. Um, I believe I only have one, which is pretty surprising, because if you look at my Wendells, I have quite a few. Uh, Alright, next... Let's see, the video is about 7 minutes, that's alright. I'm going to quicken it up a little bit. So as I said, we got, we got some Steph Curry stuff, uh, both short print. First one is this prestigious passers out of 99 checkerboard, or kind of silver checker. Uh, <laughs> got a young Curry on there, so that was cool. I believe that's a championship year too. And then this one, in my opinion, is a lot better. Not only because it's short print, but because it goes well with the team colors, and it's from Threads. High Octane out of 85. Really cool looking card, uh, especially the Blue Dazzle, which the camera doesn't do justice towards, but I mean, this is a great, great parallel to chase, especially some of the, like there's the Horizons, then uh, some of the short print Dazzles as well. Speaking of Dazzles, uh, I also got some more Threads uh, Dazzle rookie cards from the same year. Um, they're all out of 99. And I picked them up as a lot. Some of them I really don't care for as much, but other ones are uh, PC guys. So, first off is a Ivan Rab out of 99. Again, one of the guys that obviously isn't too great. Um, but, got a Malik Monk out of 99. Harry Giles out of 99. Um, and these guys, besides good old Dennis Smith Jr. <laughs> Uh, all four of these guys are actually pretty solid that are coming up. Got a Jared Allen, who's doing pretty well on the Cavs. De'Aaron Fox, really great. Um, what is it called? Uh, uh, yeah, I think he's doing well on Kings. Uh, maybe Kings need to step it up a little bit, but Lakers obviously doing well. Kuzma. And then the main one that I wanted was this Markman in 99, which the red foil goes really well with the jersey. So... That was probably my favorite pickup from the mail day. Uh, even though I got the curries and stuff, I mean, I managed to get Mark and Fox, Jared Allen, and uh, Kuzma all short print. So, really, really cool right there. Next is a box topper. I haven't gotten one of these in a while as well. Uh, this one looked insanely good uh, on camera when I bought it, and it looked even better when I got it in person. Really glad I did. It is a Jimmy Butler one. And here it is. Ba -ba -ba. I believe this is 14, 15 court kings. Uh, 15, 16. My bad. 15, 16 court kings. Jimmy Butler. Uh, 
backstabbers, horizontal backstabber. Uh, again, the camera doesn't do justice, but I'm telling you, this card looks really, really cool in person. So, yeah, I mean, let's see, we got, I think we got all the cards out of the mail day, out of the way, so we're 10 minutes in. A card shop recap shouldn't take too long. Um, but, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna start out, I got a nice lot of Levines for a decent price. Got an optic, 1819 prism, a few 1819 prisms, uh, quite a few, um, 1718 prisms as the first year. Mark, uh, uh, Levine on the Bulls, second year Levine, uh, prism for the Bulls. Optic, optic, a lot of 1819 optics, uh, some more 1819 prism, 1920 prism. Got a lot more optic. I mean, I just decided to pick up as much Levine stuff as I could, just because um, I think I think he's gonna be an All Star this year. Uh, speaking of All Star, got Jamal Murray, Cron Royal die cut, and uh, shout out to Haas. Got a Kevin Love. This is the hobby exclusive base uh, with the thicker stock. Um, this guy had a nice. Highlight reel yesterday uh, with the Bucks in Charlotte. Miles Bridges, Red Contenders. I love these Contenders cards. Colin Saxon, who's having an awesome season. Brandon Ingram, another great player. This one's the Red Cracked Ice from Hoops Premium. Christian Wood, um, who's I who I feel like Detroit shouldn't have kind of gave up. I mean, he's doing great on the Rockets, but um, yeah. And then another guy who I'm hoping is. Gonna come back strong, Jaron Jackson Jr. This is a silver mosaic parallel. And then a Kevin Garnett out of 299 red symbols. I think he's an underrated guy in the hobby. I mean, his stuff is actually pretty cheap. So, there's that, and let's get to the Goodwin Champions stuff. So, I opened some Goodwin Champions, as I said. And I know a good amount of the players, but obviously, if you guys don't know what Goodwin Champions is, it's multi sport. Um,. So it has basketball, football, baseball, hockey, actors, wrestlers, I believe. Uh, but the big thing is, is they have some of the best autograph checklists um, and memorabilia checklists, kind of. Uh, like they, you, you can pull Jordan autos, LeBron autos, but it's it's insanely hard to hit. Uh, so I opened two packs as, as you guys saw, and I pulled. Or here's a recap. All right, so I have this really cool looking tiger. Uh, looks like, kind of, um, I forgot what that texture is called, but, uh, I don't know, I, I mean, Goodwin Champions is just a fun rip. Um, and then a Jin Yu Frey, again, yeah, so MMA, so wrestling is on there. Um, Laura Wilkinson for diving, Jamie Dwyer, field hockey, Ken Jennings for, um, hey, yeah, you could just say TV personality. Wander Franco, I have heard of him for baseball. Uh, this guy, you guys can let me know. Uh, I mean, I'll check the value of it later, but... Joe Burrow, I believe he was the number one pick for um, for the NFL. Uh, yeah, I, I think he was. <laughs> I'll have to make sure on that. And um, then a... Let's see. A Vince Russo. Have haven't heard of him. Although the people, I was talking to some uh, some of the guys at the shop, and apparently he was um, he was a good writer, something like that, or responsible for the sports card boom, something something like that. And then a uh, these three cards were the best ones in my opinion, uh, just because they're one of the more unique ones. The first one is my first ever mini card, and it is of a uh, basketball player, Denny Adija. Um Obviously, there was talks of him going to the Bulls, but I uh, fell to Washington. But really cool kind of mini card here, even has all the printing on the back. So, nice one there. Uh, let me just brush that out of the way. I gotta clean this mat soon. <laughs> and uh, this one does have a little bit of wear on it, which is kind of unfortunate, but Tiger Woods, I believe it's the Splash of Color parallel. Nice one there. And then. I think the best one, I actually did hit a uh, relic card, so there's 20 packs in the box, um, and 9 cards, uh, kind of, no, 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 uh, 
what, what does it say? Yeah, five cards per pack. Never mind. <laughs> five cards per pack, and I did end up hitting mem memorabilia card. I've never heard of him, though, so let me know if you've heard of him. Uh, and it is up for grabs, or for trade, or for sale, if anybody wants it. Since uh, it's not a, uh, sports related, but uh, big boy, rapper, um, like, piece of his... I, I want to say it's a piece of that coat, but it doesn't even specify what exactly it's from. It's just the memorabilia provided by Big Boy. Which is a cool card. I mean, that's the first ever something like that I've ever pulled. Uh, it's very interesting. I, I, I'll, I'll give it that. But I think that'll do it for the mail day again. Rather than just doing separate videos that might have been uh, like 5 minutes or 10 minutes long. Uh, it is a little bit of a longer video, but hope you guys enjoy. Got a lot of unique cards in this mail day, especially some nice bowls and curry stuff. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.